Awesome guys. So in this video, I will show you the exact tool uh, which I use for my, you know, infosec journey. I would say not only bug bounty, you can actually use this tool anywhere before submitting your report. Because what happens is, I will tell you, the problem thing is like you spend time on, you know, figuring out a bug. I have seen a lot of people spending time on figuring out a bug. And when it comes to record, reporting, the report is mostly a trash. Okay. So the thing is, the report has to be realistic okay and on top of it you don't know whether it will fall into duplicate and or need more information or even lacking clarity or not so i'll just show you this tool okay and i use this a lot actually and it really works great actually okay so this is like you can find it on lenses.getpayingbug.com so i have created it such a way that it is trained on you know like uh, the ai model and everything so before even submitting your bug, you can actually see where it is going to fall, right? Because there might be cases it can go into duplicate, it can go into NA or it is lacking, you know, data and it is, you know, like I have seen people adding things in their report, which is not even required, right? Like, let's say if there is some attack vector, which is dealing with that success or what, right? And then you are saying, okay, this bug can blast the servers. Okay. So that is not going to happen in real life. So those type of detection, this tool can easily do and it can check whether it is, you know, falling into the uh, right category or not or whatever you have some tech telling in your report, right? It is even correct or not. So it can detect that it is very smart. It can do the quality check for you, whether you are having all that pre-check list of a good report is there or not, whether it is copied or not, like you have copied it from some XYZ place, right? And you can just place it. So that doesn't make any sense for a good report to be, you know, qualified, it has to be very, very simple. It doesn't have to be, you know, like super, super detailed, but it has to be simple, easy to understand. If someone reads it and they should easily get the context, what you are telling them, and it should not be vague, right? Like you cannot have five to 10 bugs in one report. So to avoid that, okay, on any platform, any client, any services that you are offering in InfoSec, you can use this tool, okay? And on top of it, this is like the 1% of the, you know, overall thing that this tool can do. It can actually give you some, you know, good targets. It can actually help you figuring out duplicates even before submitting and whatnot. So although it is evolving, but I would recommend to heavily use this, okay, because I'll just show you how this thing works, okay. So you just have to go to lenses.getpayingbugs.com and you can actually just say, get started with Google. Okay, you can just, I'll just use mine. So this is how the portal look like, okay? So currently you will see like uh, your profile, report analysis, this and this. So in under profile for now, most of the users will have, you know, the premium access, okay? So it is not limited to anything. Then you will have statistics, like where the trend is moving, you know, like uh, if you are looking for certain type of bug, then what are the other people doing with that bug? Where, what type of things they are doing in that bug, right? where the market is moving so you will find that thing in this statistics related to your bug and then this is momentum monitor so this is momentum mirror is actually you know an updated version of what you can say the infosec journey you can say like you want to know how the market is behaving right let's say the market is looking for bugs in chat gpt ai stuff and whatnot right and then you are learning something which is port scan okay so it is good. I'm not saying it is bad. You can learn whatever you want, but to be with the market, you have to have a detailed path where what everyone is doing. Okay. So it will tell you that, but uh, for now, or don't worry about this too. We are just worried about, you know, submitting your report with confidence. So the problem statement, if you remember, right? Like if you have figured out a bug and you want to submit your report, then what you will do. So you can come here, you can actually paste your report or even if you can just load the sample, right? So it will give you like, okay, because this is what a usual report look like. So you will be telling, okay, this is the summary. These are the some technical depth about where you find it. And then you will have step to reproduce. And then you will have like the impact, right? So I can analyze this report and see whether this is even relevant or not, right? Like whatever you are claiming in this report is correct or not. So this analyze will actually check the quality. Okay. It will not go into technical depth. It will just check the quality you know like 
is it even you know readable understandable clarity and complexity so there are factors and i'll just show you if you run this uh, it will do that check for you okay and currently this model is built you know like it's just using five percent of its brain and you can imagine like let's say if it is like 100 percent of its brain it can literally do tons of other stuff like you know detecting duplicates detecting nas detecting good programs for you detecting you know programs which can pay you versus detecting programs which will not pay you or even do a zombie uh, you know put you in a zombie zone when i say zombie zone like there are programs which will never reply you know like they will never reply to you so a lot of things uh, you can uh, learn but for now focus on you know just the report part because this is what i do you know like i just take my report put it here validate whether it is readable or not because this is a good report you know like i have put in then you can see okay the clarity is this it's passing all the aspect and if you see like report is not that big you know like it hardly takes one or two minutes to actually you know type this type of report so a good report is something which is not like a robot it has to be human you know the human touch in it and then it has to be clear descriptive with the way you are you know what you, whatever you are showcasing it has to have clear reproduction steps and it should have you know like whatever you are claiming should be right okay so once you are done with your you know analysis report check so it says okay report looks good then comes the confidence score so what confidence score does is actually it will check the technical depth of your report right like you have chain of your reproduction steps right you are saying okay do this this and this and this so does it even make sense and even you should submit this report or not so that is where the actual magic kicks in where it will check for all the other things okay but for now this analyze report is good enough to just you know uh, give the clarity on the report so here you can see like what it all given you okay so it says okay the report is excellent because it is in concise manner it is clear you know like the report is very very clear it doesn't look like the bot has written it or the complexity is not there then reproductions are reproduction steps are perfect so that is the thing because a lot of people when you know when they write their report they over exaggerate the thing okay so it has to be simple you know like simple simple so what is over exaggeration means i will tell you so let's say you are giving this report right i will just remove this so you started like this you written down the report and then you are saying okay in impact you are saying this can blast your servers okay so this doesn't add up right nobody no bug will actually blast the servers right i have never seen personally such blasting of servers right we are not uh, you know like suicide bombers or something we are not doing that we don't blast servers so if you analyze this report it will take time to evaluate you know like whatever you have written in your report and it will come back with things so let's just com let it complete so if you see overall quality looks good okay and in accuracy it said you okay it is three out of five it doesn't have to be five out of five always okay but if you see it says impact accuracy assessment failed it doesn't fail actually but when you do for a confidence score right like you want to check how my report is going to perform you will click on this confidence score and then hopefully it will give you okay don't submit it but here you will see it has you know under over exaggeration it simply says the phrases like blast your server which is not realistic to excesses right in ground reality this is not going to happen but i have seen people writing things xyz things in their report so don't do that and if you find something like this you can just update it to the relevant one and then you can also you know uh, people also write like okay or do this let's say the reproduction steps are not clear okay and you are saying okay go to that side do this this and then you say watch netflix and chill and the report or the bug will automatically get triggered okay so 
I don't think this is going to happen. Like you go in your log in your account and just watching Netflix, right? It doesn't make any sense. So hopefully it can detect it easily. Okay. So see, it simply says quality failed. Okay. And that means like it's a very high risk of rejection because the reproduction steps are not adding up in the first place and also the accuracy level the impact that whatever you are saying right it's not correct so it failed here itself so there's no point you know generating the confidence score for that because here the report itself what you are writing is not good so what's the point of you know like getting a confidence score for that so even if you go and get the confidence score it will just tell you something at least And it can give you the suggestions as well. Okay, like it can tell you the suggestions and everything. So technically, technical feasibility check, it passed. Okay, but this you have to check only when your analysis report is you know correct. If you are having high risk here and technically it somewhat makes sense, then you should not report it because that way it will go into a toss. Okay, this has to be green and this has to be green, like green green the simple rule of thumb okay that is what uh, i follow and here it will give you guys like it will actually give you what you are trying to say okay and not only that okay not only that it will give you an overall assessment of your tone and you know like how your report is actually being portrayed okay because you, you can be professional you can be non-professional and you can be you know bossy as well because I have personally seen people writing, okay, give me money for this. Okay. They don't even know what they're asking for, but this is okay. I just want money for this. So that is not happening. Okay. So you should be very, very realistic when you submit your report and it will hardly take one or two minutes to pre-assess it so that you can actually save a lot of your time, efforts and point on the platform. Okay. And this model is still evolving. This is just using 5% of its brain. And sooner or later, it will, you know, like evolve to much mature level and it will also give you suggestions. Currently, it gives you suggestions and everything, but later it can also write uh, the report for you. So you can use it totally. And that is the only tool that I would recommend for anyone who is doing dog mounting because this is really great. Guys. Okay. Like here it says the author maintains a general neutral and informative tone, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And here you are also providing them help because that is what uh, you are you know having and in overall you can see like what is the overall assessment so in reproduction steps it is negative okay like the reproduction steps that you have shared is going in a negative zone because a nonsense or invalid step is there okay which is mandatory creation failure okay you have to re read it guys it's all there okay like if you go and log into your account and watch Netflix and chill, so a bug will not trigger. Okay, because that is not how bugs work, right? So that is why this go gone into a negative sentiment. So you have to fix it, and it's very simple. Most of the time, you can just remove it. You can add logical sense or extra things which is over exaggerated. You can remove it. Okay, so that is how this whole tool works. And you can read like a lot of detailing around this and you just have to add the right words so that it doesn't fall into, you know, like any category or some no writing it or something like that. So just use this and even like you can, I will show you like analyzing this report for some other bugs. Okay. Like, let's say this hacker one is there and then you go for port scan. Okay, so you will find all such uh, reports. So we will analyze like one of the report. Okay, so this report got accepted. So we will just copy this. Okay, we will close this. We will paste this. And we will see like what this report does. And you can even understand this, you know, like going forward, you will have a tutor here who can actually explain you the logical component of it but for now uh, you can just uh, bear with whatever this is so see if i would have to you know 
submit this report and then I would not have sent it. So why? I uh, will check why it failed, okay? Because the reproduction steps are not clear and then clarity and all neutral is fine but the reproduction steps are not clear. So we'll see here bonus impact. Yeah, so basically there is no reproduction steps actually. Okay, okay, he, the user has relied on, you know, the video or something like that. So that is also doable, but I would not recommend to post your videos or anything in this website at the moment. But you can, you know, like uh, paste your report, see how it is working, and then you can, you know, finally submit it. So this went into negative. It said critical failure because the reproduction step is not clear. And why? Because you have not given like proper reproduction steps. You have given this random things. Okay. So currently, definitely this tool will not able to, you know, see what is this image and everything. Okay. So when you write a report, right, it has to be very concise and, you know, like three or four lines you have to write. That's it. So that is what, how this whole tool works. And I use a lot. Uh, you know like my all the reports whatever i submit i scan it with this tool and uh, then i report it and that is where you know you will get the highest possibility of return and on top of it uh, you know like later this will give you some more detailing on how to you know get 3x of the report whatever you are writing with proper solutions and on top of it uh, what how to tweak that report in your favor okay because things should not go out of scope so that is the thing and I would heavily recommend you to try this, see how it works for you and scan your report to, you know, before submitting to any of the platform, not only like the major platform like hacker one bug crowd or something, but you can actually, you know, whenever you send a mail or even working for a client or interesting services, you can scan it, see whether your report makes sense. Does it pass, you know, like the qualifier level looks good or not. And then you can submit it. Okay. And then, I'll just you know, do this run as well. Let me see technically does it make sense. Because there is a lot, like, lot of code in there. Okay. So technically this report is good. Okay. And it will also give you like more detail. Where is the issue? It's an SSRF issue, server side. Okay yeah so technically it is possible but if you can you know like actually write a good version of it it will make more sense so awesome guys i wanted to show this tool to you and i would uh, heavily recommend to use it okay and uh, yeah see you on the other side guys take care bye